got a, a short statement for you. Uh, today, a judge in the High Court in London has ruled on various cases, including Prince Harry's claim against Mirror Group newspapers, where I was an editor until 2004. The judgment finds there is just one article relating to the Prince, published in the Daily Mirror during my entire nine-year tenure as editor, that he thinks may have involved some unlawful information gathering. To be clear, I had then, and still have, zero knowledge of how that particular story was gathered. All his other claims against the Daily Mirror, under my leadership, were rejected. With regard to the judge's other references to me in his judgment, I also want to reiterate, as I've consistently said for many years now, I've never hacked a phone or told anybody else to hack a phone, and nobody has produced any actual evidence to prove that I did. I wasn't called as a witness, and it's important for people to know this, by either side in the case, nor was I asked to provide any statement. I would have very happily agreed to do either or both of those things had I been asked. But I note the judge appears to have believed the evidence of Omid Scobie, who lied about me in his new book, and he lied about me in court, and the whole world now knows him to be a deluded fantasist. And he believed the evidence of Alistair Campbell, another proven liar who spun this country into an illegal war. Employed these practices and then similarly lied about them. And I will continue to do whatever I can to stop them. You look very emotional, Merry Christmas. Uh, Mr. Morgan. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, look, it's not, it's not. What's your reaction to today's ruling? There was extensive phone hacking at the Mirror Group, including with Prince Harry. Yeah, look, I, I haven't seen that. You know, I believe, obviously, in a, a free and fair press, but obviously everyone needs to operate uh, within the law. That's what anyone would expect, and that's exactly what, you know, this country's always been st proud to stand behind. Thank you. Thanks very much. Good I appreciate it. Great. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Please. Prince Harry scored his biggest win yet in his legal war against the UK press on Friday. When London courts ruled he'd been the victim of phone hacking and other unlawful activities by journalists at Mirror Group newspapers. The judge said that MGN editors, including the high profile former Daily Mirror editor Piers Morgan, knew about these activities. Morgan, a constant critic of Harry and his wife Meghan, has consistently denied any involvement in or knowledge of phone hacking. King Charles's younger son was awarded over $180,000 and in a statement read by his lawyer, David Sherborne, responded to the legal victory. My commitment to seeing this case through is based on my belief in our need and collective right to a free and honest press, and one which is properly accountable when necessary. I hope that the court's findings will serve as a warning to all media organisations who have employed these practices and then similarly lied about them. The Prince also called for authorities to take action against those identified as having broken the law. Harry was one of about 100 claimants, including actors and sports stars, who had sued MGN over claims of phone hacking and unlawful information gathering between 1991 and 2011. And Judge Timothy Fancourt gave an excoriating conclusion that there had been widespread hacking and unlawful activities at MGN from 1996 until 2011. He said it even carried on while a public inquiry into illicit practices at British newspapers was taking place. The MGN case is just one of four Harry is pursuing at the High Court. He has won the right to take to trial a similar phone hacking case against Associated Newspapers, the publisher of the Daily Mail, and Mail on Sunday. Allegations of unlawful behaviour by News Corp's newsgroup newspapers, the publisher of The Sun, will also go to trial. Your left, your left. 
challenges and everything else. So you are going to depend on the people this Make sure you're practicing your core challenges. Just really making sure <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, now it's difficult here parenting with Mr. and Mrs. Smith down the street a few blocks. Their parenting rules as it pertains to social media and devices. Their goalposts are totally different than ours as a family. <laughs> Thank you. 